This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. Heading into the Illinois State game on Sunday, the Panthers on a six-game winning streak undefeated at home this year and two home wins this past week Missouri State and Indiana State pretty good week always nice to protect the home court coach yeah guys uh, guys played well uh, again here at home uh, another good two game stretch for us I thought uh, you know, against Missouri State uh, we, we guarded them the entire time and I felt like uh, they had maybe two or three stretches of four or five possessions over the course of the game where they had a little bit going uh, but out, you know, outside of that so the majority of the time Guys really did a good job of guarding and you know, offensive. Uh, at the offensive end, we were good. Um, our offensive rebounding was terrific in that game. You know, Marvin was his effort has been at a at a high level, and, uh, and it was great uh, against Missouri State. And then against Indiana State, it was just a heck of a ball game. Both teams played good. It was hard fought. When you look at the Missouri State game, a huge first half and had a, a lead by a dozen at the half, and Seth Tuttle. Finished the game with 22 points, 10 rebounds, and as you mentioned, Marv, close to a double-double as well. Those two really kind of carried you in that win. Yeah, they did. They, uh, uh, you know, they really went at it at both ends of the floor, and uh, we were going to go to Seth, and you know, they had made the decision to, to single cover him for a lot of that game and take away some of our shooters, and, and uh, so he was able to get some things going, and, and then Marv was able to get to a bunch of rebounds, and that helped extend some possessions in the second half. And, uh, uh, and then it was important, you know, as we went ahead to that Indiana State game, you know, they really crowded Seth. And Bo, uh, Bo and Dion you know, came up big in that first half. Dion made three threes in, the, in uh, both halves. Bo got a couple to go. So um, it was a good combination, if you, if you will, of you know, both games where Seth and Marv really carried us against Missouri State. Uh, Bo and Dion and, and their ability to knock in some threes was really important in that Indiana State game. And it was gut check time toward the end of that Indiana State game. I mean, second place hanging in the balance on the line, and it was nice to see the guys respond at home in the final couple minutes there. Yeah, and you know, we had we had good crowd against Missouri State, uh, but we had a great crowd against mm -hmm. Indiana State. And the place was uh, uh, place was going as good as it has all year long. And uh, real credit to our students for coming out and filling the student section. And uh, but I I felt like the the entire place was a little more energized than, than what it had been, and uh, maybe starting to settle into our team right now. And um, you know, we're looking forward to uh, you know the next time we get back here and having the place full again. And you know, that really helps. You know, in the first half. When we got on a run and Dion made that third three and we got that nine or ten point lead to cry and, and everybody's up and going, that's you know, that's big time college basketball. And in order to have that, you've got to have a great student section and you've got to have great fans. And uh, and then at the end, you know, when there's under four minutes to go and it's a one possession game. I mean that's the way some games are gonna be. And you have gotta have a great crowd. You know, you gotta have a crowd behind you and and, uh, and that helped us. Panthers in the top 20 again, uh, sitting in second place in the Missouri Valley Conference. Next time they're at home is against Wichita State. That game is sold out, and so hopefully you have your ticket and you'll be there for that one. And this, this uh, you know, as we get close to February, every game important to protect the home court, but, but also on the road as well. You, you a lot of attention on that Wichita State game, but you have a road game at Southern Illinois that's equally as important. Yeah, and, you know, and that is that's, that's the next time we come home now. Um, and, and people have had to plan for that one because it has been sold out, and we understand that. What I've liked about our guys is uh, they're just, you know, concerned about and, and uh, interested in what we're doing when, on a particular day, whether we're lifting weights or we're in on the practice floor, we're watching film, uh, and then whoever it is we're playing. Our guys have been great about that, so uh, that, that's something that I'm proud of, that they haven't in any way looked forward to what might be coming up. And, uh, yeah, and this week and it's Sunday night, so hopefully, as we've talked about before, we've got a lot of Sunday games this year, so it interrupts the show some. Uh, you know, hopefully we're watching and, and we're able to get that road win at Illinois State and uh, uh, on the bus on the way home, uh, celebrating uh, a win against another really good team in our league. And, and then we're on the road uh, against Southern Illinois the next time we go out and play, I believe, on, on Wednesday of, uh, of this week coming up. So a uh, couple road games and uh, we're going to have to take, uh, we're gonna take all we got. You know, that, the defense has been good. The rebounding is getting better. Uh, that's nice to, you know, nice to know that when you go into those road games. And one final comment in the last couple seconds here, just Nate Buss, we have a story coming up on him and 
having a big senior year and coming off last year where he was MVC most improved and all bench captain. Yeah, you know, and he, he has, he's having a big senior year. He has a little bit different role than a year ago. And that's uh, that way for a lot of our guys where his minutes aren't quite as much and maybe not quite as many opportunities, but he's better defensively. He's taking charges. He's doing all the things that help our team win basketball games. So he's uh, really important to what we're doing. Thanks coach. And we'll be back with more Panther Sports Talk right after this.